So Sherwin Williams Color of the Year 2024 is out and we can't be more thrilled and excited to discuss it. So my today's color review is all about Sherwin Williams Color of the Year 2024 which is upward and I'm going to be discussing everything you need to know about this calm and crisp blue gray paint color. However, this relaxed, calm and laid black blue gray paint color may be not as easy to work with as the other blue gray paint colors out there. And in my today's video, I'm going to be discussing how, when and why. And I have covered all of these under one roof in this video. So let's get started. Well, Sherwin Williams Upward can make a beautiful choice for a couple of interior design styles out there. So whether you plan to decorate your home in French country style or modern interior design style, transitional, coastal, beach homes, this paint color in particular can make a beautiful choice as far as you know what you're dealing with. So personally, I feel that this pale blue gray paint color is definitely gorgeous and easy to blend with a lot of colors out there, but it may not be as versatile as the previous color of the years like Sherwin Williams Urbane Bronze in 2021 or Sherwin Williams Evergreen Fog in 2022. So let's see what this color has to offer. So the first and foremost, what color is exactly Sherwin-Williams Upward? Well, Sherwin-Williams Upward is a pale blue-gray paint color with deep purple, violet or periwinkle undertones. So yes, it's because of these sneaky purple undertones that this color tends to be slightly difficult to pair with other consequent paint colors. So whether you have some wooden textures or natural stone uh, or natural stone countertops in your home, you might have to deal with the undertones of this color with respect to the undertones of your other paint colors. So the undertones don't clash. So let me give you an example. Since this color has a violet undertone and there may be uh, a beige color or a beige top countertop which has a pink undertone so these two different undertones can clash with each other and make your space look unappealing so that is a major challenge that you have to deal with when it comes to Sherwin Williams upward but apart from the sneaky purple undertones Sherwin Williams upward can make a beautiful appearance as an accent or a base in your home whether you're looking to add this color on the vanity on the kitchen cabinets as an accent wall in the kids play area this color can perfectly pair with your neutral or cool tone white so that is something you don't need to worry about and like I mentioned earlier, Sherwin Williams upward must be avoided in a warmer toned home because this cooler toned color definitely feels very, very crisp and it has a periwinkle undertone that can clash with your wooden hardwood textures or maybe your countertops or your beige walls. So I would say that you restrict this color to only your cooler toned color palettes or the calm neutral color palette. So homeowners often wonder whether Sherwin Williams upward is a blue color or a gray color. Well, I would say that Sherwin Williams upward is definitely a blue paint color with dominant gray undertones and that is why I classify this paint color under the neutral paint color category. So this paint color definitely has more chroma or color to it as compared to the gray undertones and at the same time the sneaky purple undertones are also something that you might have to deal with and that is what makes it such a crispy cool color because if you see the blue gray paint colors and the blue green paint colors feel much more warmer as compared to the blue gray paint colors with purple undertones. If you compare a swatch of Sherwin Williams North Star, Sherwin Williams Upward and Sherwin Williams Moon Mist, you'll observe how violet or purple Sherwin Williams Upward appears. Even based on the natural incoming lighting conditions and existing architectural elements, the upward paint color can either appear blue, violet or gray. 
So the next most common questions often inquired by the homeowners is if Sherwin Williams Upward is cool or a warm tone paint color. While well, like I mentioned Sherwin Williams Upward is undeniably a cool tone paint color due to the periwinkle undertones. This color must be avoided in a warmer tone home or homes with a lot of golden oak and warmer wooden textures because it's going to contradict with the undertones out there. And it definitely must be restricted to the grey, blue, green or crisp white end of the scale. If you compare a swatch of Sherwin-Williams Upward, Sherwin-Williams Passive and Sherwin-Williams Tradewind, you'd feel how cool, crisp and violet inspired this colour appears. So now that we've discussed the undertones of this paint colour, let's get started with another important aspect. Yes, I'm talking about the light reflectance value of Sherwin-Williams Upward. So the LRV stands for light reflectance value which determines how light or dark a paint colour is. So specifically if you're looking to start painting your home and if you've started choosing paint colours for your home, the LRV is one of the most important aspects of a paint colour. You need to know the LRV of a paint colour because that will help you determine how light or dark a paint colour may appear in your homes. Moreover, I would also recommend that you try sampling a couple of swatches of this paint color on the walls since sometimes a paint color can appear slightly different in different lighting conditions. And in this situation, Sherwin Williams Upward has an LRV of 57, which means that it falls on the medium end of the scale towards the lighter and it's not very dark nor very light. So you can perfectly use this color as an accent or a base in any corner of your home. Well, if you're wondering if you can use Sherwin Williams Upward as a whole house color scheme, well, I would definitely say a big no-no. So Sherwin Williams Upward does not make a wonderful choice when it painted on all the common walls, staircases or hallways of a home. Well, this colour can truly be too, too much if used everywhere and that is why I recommend that you either choose it as an accent in certain areas of your home or a base, let's say, uh, if you choose to paint all the walls of a specific bedroom or kids room or bathroom in Sherwin Williams Upward. Whether you have a smaller home, medium sized home or larger home, Sherwin Williams Upward can make a beautiful choice in any corner. Uh, if you have wainscoting, if you want to style a particular ceiling or maybe you have uh, accent wall panelling or wainscoting running around, this colour will not disappoint you as, as far as you understand the undertones and pair it with the best streamlining other colours out there. Here's a well curated pre-made colour palette that I have created for Sherwin Williams Upward on Etsy. It enlists all the exact colours that pair with Upward colour including how and where to use them in your whole house colour palette. I have included 5 colour palettes with Sherwin Williams Upward and complementary hues along with how to use each of these paint colours in various areas of your home. You will also get detailed material and fabric palette with each of these Sherwin Williams Upward colour palettes. Another bonus is paint planner and a detailed guide on paint sheets for various areas of your home. You can easily get this pre-packaged colour palette on my Etsy shop as well as my website. I've added the links below. Well, now you must be wondering where to exactly use Sherwin Williams Upward in your home. Well, the variety is endless, but you have to be slightly careful what you exactly pair it with. So Sherwin Williams Upward can be used in various areas of your home. You can use this color in approximately two, three or four spaces for a cohesive color palette. To name a few, you can use this color in bathroom vanity, bathroom wainscoting, entryway doors, whether interiors or exteriors, exterior shutters, interior doors, bedroom accent walls, kitchen cabinets, kids rooms, mudroom cabinets, laundry room cabinets and accent furniture. So now that we've discussed various technical specifications of this color and where to exactly use Sherwin Williams Upward in your home, let's get started with what colors and the exact names of Sherwin Williams paint colors that best pair with Sherwin Williams Upward. So generally colors that best pair with Sherwin Williams Upward are either cool or neutral whites. You can even introduce uh, light icy greys or dark charcoal greys. You can go for dark blue grey paint colors with periwinkle undertones, uh, shades of mustard, rust, fuchsia pink and even tan, greyish, beige or black. So here's a list of Sherwin-Williams white colors that go with Sherwin-Williams upward. Icicle, 
extra white, snowbound, West Highland white. Now here's a list of Sherwin Williams grey colours that go with upward. Tinsmith, Cityscape, Tricorn Black, Peppercorn. Now here's a list of Sherwin Williams grey and beige colours that go with Sherwin Williams upward. A new grey, worldly grey, shiitake, mega grey. And lastly, here's a list of navy blue colours that go with upward Sherwin Williams. Naval, Gale Force, Cyberspace. So now that we know that we're going with Sherwin-Williams upward on the walls and then we know what colours to best pair with when we have Sherwin-Williams upward on board, let's get started with my top two colour suggestions for the trims, mouldings and ceilings. And the number one suggestion is Sherwin-Williams extra white. Especially for cooler tone homes and cooler tone colour palettes, I highly recommend that we go with Sherwin Williams Extra White that is going to further facilitate the look of upward colour and make it look all very cohesive. This is definitely my number one choice to go for cooler tone colour palettes. On the other hand, the next choice is Sherwin Williams High Reflective White which is a clean, stark and bright white colour which can be used on the ceilings, trims and baseboards to go with upward. Uh, since it's a neutral colour, it, it can further bring out the undertones of Sherwin Williams upward colour. And lastly, we are going to discuss Sherwin Williams upward equivalent colours. I know that you may not like the look and feel of upward paint colour and maybe you're looking for something slightly darker or lighter or with something that is slightly lesser purple or more purple. Well, in such situations, I have three recommendations and the first one is Sherwin Williams Sleepy Blue. So if you're not really intrigued by the purple undertones of Sherwin Williams upward and you're looking for something equally uh, dark and dominating, then Sherwin Williams Sleepy Blue can make a wonderful choice. This blue-gray paint color has dominant green undertones with an LRV of 59 and it can feel quite spa-like, relaxed and calming in any lighting situation. The next colour option is Sherwin Williams IC. So Sherwin Williams IC does not fall under the neutral colour category but this colour actually has more chroma or colour to it. So if you're looking for a paint colour that has slightly more uh, periwinkle or purple undertones to it then Sherwin Williams IC can make a beautiful choice. It's definitely a frosty blue colour with a uh, deep periwinkle undertone so highly ideal for your cooler tone homes avoid this color in your warmer tone homes as well and lastly my next recommendation is sherwin williams windy blue so if you're really intrigued by the undertones of sherwin williams upward itself if you really like the blend of purple blue and grey together but a colour that is slightly darker than this then Sherwin Williams Windy Blue can make a wonderful choice. This colour has an LRV of 48 which means it falls on the medium end of the scale and if you're looking to create a sense of accent then Sherwin Williams Windy Blue can make a beautiful choice. If you're looking for something uh, slightly lighter than uh, Sherwin Williams upward then Icicle can be a great choice because that's an off-white colour with deep uh, blue, grey, purple undertones. So what are your thoughts on Sherwin Williams Colour of the Year 2024 upward? Do you like this paint colour or are you looking for something more similar, something with lesser undertones or something with more undertones? Well, if you're planning to use this paint colour in your home, do share pictures with me so I can further share it with the world. I would love to see how this paint colour turned up in your spaces. Lastly, don't forget to check out my website at www.nishthasarana.com and my Etsy shop for pre-packaged colour palettes. I have added the links below and don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions, any doubts regarding this paint colour or any other Sherwin Williams or any other paint colour out there because I am here to help you all. And lastly, I will see you all next week. Until then, bye-bye.